Well, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, April 4th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Happy Friday Eve. Has this been a long week for anybody else? Ida was just saying she's in a mood. Well, guess what? We're going to get you out of your little bit of a funk. We're going to bring sunshine and plenty of great guests on today's show. So coming up, there is a new interactive wonderland at Post Houston aiming to tug at your heartstrings. UNICEF is live in studio with more and how we can help children around the world. And speaking of kids, we have two cuties with us today for today's KidCast, meteorologists in the making. I love this segment. Also, if you loved yesterday's weather, you're going to love today. Ido has a look at our weather, but what can we expect for, you know, that thing happening on Monday, the eclipse? That and more is headed your way, so what do you say? Let's get this show started. We begin with today's top talkers. Relentless in Crush City. This is the news we like to wake up to, right? With two homers. The Houston Astros beat those Toronto Blue Jays 8-zip last night. Oh, it feels good. Air Jordan, Jordan Alvarez homered twice and matched his career high with four hits. Christian Javier and four relievers combined on a one-hitter. Now, this is the second game in the series where the Blue Jays were shut out after Blanco threw a no-hitter on Monday. Next up for our Strohs, we're headed up the road to take on those Rangers starting tomorrow. Always a good in-state rivalry. All right, did you guys hear about this? Speaking of the Strohs, Houston ace Justin Verlander, he is one step closer, you all, to returning to the mound. We need him in our rotation. JV is actually starting his rehab assignment this weekend in Sugarland with the Space Cowboys. The 41 year old opened the season on the injured list with inflammation in his right shoulder. Well, today he will throw a bullpen session in Houston before making his start this weekend. Manager Joe Espada says he expects that this to be the first of two minor league starts Verlander will make before he comes off the injured list. Espada also says they want Verlander to throw 70-75 pitches on Sunday and get up to 85-90 in the following start. Ito, have you ever been to see when they're on their rehab assignment Simons, I think that would be really cool to take the kiddos, and it's a lot cheaper than going to an Astros game. I know, right? Uh, no, I haven't. I didn't even know he was out there. I'm going to have to go check it out. Yeah, Sunday. Okay, so, so you know, for me in sports, I kind of feel like that saying, um, jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah. Because <laughs> I love sports. I really do. I know what's happening, and right. if I ever go to the game, I will be cheering and yelling and screaming and being like, I don't think so, ref. Yeah. But... I could not tell you any stats. That's I can't okay. tell you who the players are. <laughs> like, Friend, I, don't know I got why. you covered. My mom taught me one thing. Well, I used to work in sports. I started in sports radio. But my mom always taught me before when I was dating or going to a business event, she's yeah. like, read the front page of the sports section. Best piece of advice because you'll always have something to talk about. But don't get too in the weeds of it because men, they're just the way they grow up and they're socialized. They just ha have all of that sports knowledge, and women were not necessarily growing up that way, you know? So, yeah. I don't know. That's what I always did. That's a good idea. Yeah, but don't get in the thick of it. Nobody needs to know the stats. Just know that, let's be real, the Strohs crush the Blue Jays. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of sports, this is interesting. A new study has revealed that the Houston Cougars developed the best-behaved players in the NBA. You gotta love those Southern manners, Ito. The research shows Cougars alumni who have played in the NBA in the past 10 years have never received a fine, been suspended, or ejected from the matches. The best across the nation. Aggies players have the fifth best disciplinary record with just six ejections in this time. Okay, I really want to get to this one. Okay. California could become the first state to give employees the right to disconnect. This one got my attention today. There's a new bill called the right to disconnect. Now, if it's passed, Edo, employers would have to clarify when an employee is expected to be available and guarantee uninterrupted <gasps> personal time outside of work hours, oh, right? Now, I France, love that. Portugal, Italy and Spain, they already have these laws in effect. It's no surprise. Now, the state's Labor Commission could investigate and fine employers with repeated violations to the right to disconnect. So emergencies and scheduling purposes would be an exception to the rule. What do you think about this? Would it work? I, it's so hard because I think here, 
in America, we have this like culture of the busy you are, mm -hmm. the more important you are, and the higher status you are. Right. Do you do you get that sense? I do. And my dad, I grew up with that mentality, right? Yeah. I mean, he started and he worked his way up with a company. My husband's the same way. And so my dad always was hustling and working, you know? That's yeah. how he was successful. And you and they kind of feel like bad asking for time to disconnect, right? They kind of feel yeah. like, oh, I'm not pulling my weight or they think I'm lazy. Exactly. I love this station, I will say, yeah. because I am able to do that now. I, I did it in the past, but now on the weekends, I try to give myself even just Saturday. I know our boss, if he really needs us, he'll call us, mm -hmm. but they don't bother us on the weekends unless it's a yeah. special, which is really rare in yes. this business. That's why I love this job because I can actually disconnect and be a mom. Yes, and I do appreciate uh, our manager, our boss, Angel, he's like always saying like, take your days off, take them off. Yeah. And like he, if somebody's off, he says, don't bother them. No, and I actually was talking to somebody yesterday. I'm going to do this. I was telling producer Lou on Sundays, I'm gonna hide my phone because they may disconnect oh. from us, but are we disconnecting from them? No. Mm -mm. Right? Because right. you'll be like, oh, that teams or, oh, producer Lou, I saw this. No, I'm blocking up my phone for at least part of the day on Sunday. I don't want, I want to disconnect from everything, social media, everything. Now I feel like I need to like apologize to producer Lou. <laughs> When you were gone and we were looking for guests, I was like messaging her like at one, two in the afternoon. I mean, she doesn't, producer Sorry, Lou, are you Lou. mad at us? We do that. I do it all the time. I start bothering her the minute I wake up. <laughs> I start working the minute my eyes open. I'm like, what's the talkers? And that, for instance, this talker today. Loved it. Yeah. So there we have it. Uh, we have other talkers. We're going to have to save those for another day because Ido and I, we always have a lot to chat about. Just a chat and I know. I know. We can fill time. <laughs> it's a challenge. All right. Well, we have some exciting guests headed your way. Stay tuned for more Houston Happens after the break. Geek out with young Sheldon. Watching Cosmos while we're eating dinner? Am I awake because this feels like a dream? Weeknights at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. Hi, I'm Micah, and I still want to buy your house. When you call 713-565-5000, you're working with me, a Houstonian who's been buying houses for 25 years. I make it easy with an as-is cash offer on your home within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. When you sell to MICA, there are no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just call 713-565-5000 for a free, no-obligation offer, 24 hours a day. That's 713-565-5000. Hey, Mom. Yeah, I am running a little late for work. Hey! Gosh, these drivers are terrible. <gasps> I'm going to have to call you back. Yes, there are some bad drivers out there. Luckily, you're not alone. With over 55,000 happy clients and 45 years serving Houston, attorney Steve Lee has your back. Talk to the leader. Talk to attorney Steve Lee. 713. Call Lee. Emergency? When news is breaking, not everything is as it appears. The sheriff's office is reopening an investigation. The Delphi murders changed my life. This narrative, it's not at all what happened. This story was so long. Two or three days now. Who returns without the love of his life and doesn't say a word? Well, I've only encountered five people who scare me to death. And he's probably number two. Is he coming from me? Is he coming from my brother? Where is he? The suspicion and the paranoia, it just took off like a tsunami. People became more and more obsessed with the case. I swear to God, these people. The mystery only grew deeper after it was all over. Mom said two of your classmates are missing. That was when the chase began. As we're running, I heard gunshots. This house should be burned. People are still trying to mentally process how all of this could have happened. The new Modular 2 from Rooms to Go will move you, literally move you. With reclining pieces, ideal in any space, big or small. The Modular 2 perfectly fits the way you live, relax, and entertain, combining exceptional style, comfort, and function with modular seating versatility. Fully tailored contemporary pieces to great colors, starting at just $3.95. Combine, adjust, build your perfect room with the new reclining Modular 2, only at Rooms to Go. 
The truth revealed. What do you I want to say to him? Hey, you have a wife and two kids, and you know how she's going to react to this fight. Weekdays at 3 on CW39 Houston. everybody. Well, there's a new interactive wonderland at Post Houston aiming to tug at your heartstrings and help children around the world. It's UNICEF USA's Heartstrings Creating Connection to the World's Children. And joining us with more today is Nelson Bowman. Thank you so much for waking up with us. You are so welcome, Maggie. I love your energy and I love this cause so much. So tell me a little bit first about this organization. So UNICEF, um, we work in 190 countries. Most of them are developing or what we would call uh, lower income countries. And our goal is to help create a more equitable world for children mm -hmm. worldwide. Yeah, and I mean children, they deserve this, right? As a mother, I look at my daughter and I think of other children that aren't as fortunate. So mm -hmm. this is a great way to engage and engage children yes. too. So tell me about this exhibit. Okay, original exhibit. And this is designed to um, allow you to take part in UNICEF impact through interactive multimedia, uh, lighting effects, and inspiring music. Whoa. Okay, yeah. so it's at the post. It's at the post. It's gotten rave. You're looking at it right now. So walk me through this because it really helps you connect. There's different stages. Right. So engaging opportunity for, for you to travel the world in 45 minutes. Okay? Wow. To see UNICEF and how it's affecting and helping to make, again, a more equitable world for children, uh -huh. but more importantly, to ensure that children are healthy, educated, respected, and protected. Respected and protected really stood out to me. So what can we do? Do we have to pay to go to this? Does mm -hmm. it go towards UNICEF? And then how can we always help? So all proceeds will support UNICEF's, again, global mission of uh, helping to create a more equitable world for children. The tickets are roughly about $23, okay. and their special prices, lower prices for kids. Uh -huh. And the bad thing is that you only have until Sunday. <gasps> You guys have to hurry. Yes. We've been open there at the Post since Mar March 22nd. Right. And then it was for two weeks, and we've just had an enormous just flood of people coming. Well, this is a final push. This is and a final I push. And I know. And Sunday it's going to be rainy, so it's a perfect thing to do. A perfect if you're thing looking, to do inside. Yeah. An interactivity. Yeah. I'd like to take my little one because I think she would love all of the colors, and it's never too early to get them involved in such an organization. It is never too early to be a change maker. Mm. And what we hope kids will get from this is an idea that to be empowered and to watching other kids use their voices for to influence key issues that are affecting children throughout the world. Things like climate change, equity for girls, mm -hmm. education, and much, much more. And as a parent, what you're gonna get out of it is a create, learning creative ways to be able to engage and talk to your kid or kids about um, philanthropy. Okay. and about UNICEF's role in that helping children around the world. You're so engaging. I get, just seeing the passion in your <laughs> eyes, I want to get involved with this. I want to go to this, but how can we get involved throughout the entire year? You can always go to UNICEFUSA.org. Mm -hmm. You can become a supporter. You can become a community fundraiser. You can become an advocate. It just doesn't stop because the experience is going away. Mm -hmm. The idea of the experience was to bring a project that would engage the entire family. Mm -hmm. Usually UNICEF invites the adults to come right. out, but we service children in those 190 countries. This experience allows you to engage with the entire family. I love this. Well, again, tell everybody, it's at the post. We have this over, on, and we'll have it on our website, CW39.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Please come back. I really I enjoyed having you. All right, thanks, Thank Maggie. you so much. And Ido, speaking of kids, I'm pretty excited because we have a new kid cast. Ah, yes, we definitely do. I am so excited to introduce Betty G and Princeton S. My name is Betty, and I'm in the fifth grade. And my name is Princeton, and I am in the sixth grade. Today's weather is mainly sunny skies with a high of 84 degrees. Winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now tonight's weather is clear skies with a low of 61 degrees. Winds southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Make sure to have a thrilling Thursday, Houston. <gasps> well, if that isn't some sunshine, I absolutely love it. Speaking of sunshine, look at that time lapse. Ido. 
I know. Handing Isn't me the it? clicker. Oh, thank you, ma'am. You're oh. welcome. <laughs> oh, are you just going to walk through the shot? Go for it, girl. I thought we were still on camera three. <laughs> what if? So sorry. We move around a lot. I mean, oh, look man. at. I know you said you were kind of having a day, my friend. I am. Um, what is so, it? Is it the weather? I don't know what it is. I woke up this morning. Yeah. And I just had this thought like, oh. I have another day yeah. where I have to wake up so early. I think it was just my allergies, and I took I had to take some allergy medicine last night, and so I just was like, oh, "Honey, I just feel like I'm in a funk." Do you ever get those days? Just oh yeah, and then I get I, I feel like sometimes I'm hard on myself then, and then I get in yeah. more of a funk. You're allowed to feel what you're feeling. I was telling pr producer and I, Lou and I had a lot of heart to hearts this morning. I was telling her I give myself a day. And then I shake it off. So whatever's bothering you, you can give yourself some time and then shake it off. Yeah. But now it's time to shake it off. We have a beautiful day. Go for a walk today, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, most the definitely. Allergies. I, cool. I think I'm just gonna have to sit up. But the thing is, I think it's because I've been sitting outside because it's uh, just been so lovely. Look at Here's that. a look at our downtown time lapse picture. Just clear skies. We do not have any cloud cover out there today. It's gonna be so nice. Plus, the wind from yesterday, that's gonna knock it off. So overall, today is just gonna be so, so lovely. Here's a look at our current conditions outside. 63 degrees, humidity, come on, you can't Ooh. be pat, 58%. So it's just so nice and comfortable out there. Plus our highs today are gonna be inching close to about 80 degrees for the most part. 83 today in Houston, also in the Woodlands. Galveston, of course, you're just gonna always be more moderate there. You're gonna be about 74 degrees today. But if you're gonna be in Sugarland or Katy or Conroe, you're also going to be hitting those low 80s today. So we've got the sunshine, we've got no wind, humidity, see ya, and we've got these wonderful temperatures. So I hope everybody does get outside and enjoy it. You'll definitely just need to take that allergy medicine. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's a look at the big picture. We have that low that came in earlier this week, and then we have this other one they were worried about for it, the eclipse. But we're just sandwiched in between these two. And look at that, middle of the country, from Texas all the way to Canadian border. Just lots of sunshine, no cloud cover, and just very pleasant weather. Well, this pattern will continue until Tomorrow, Saturday, we're going to start to see some changes, Maggie, and I'll be showing you on future casts what I mean as the cloud cover and the rain start to move in. I'll let you know how long it's going to last, too. Okay. Well, I'm super excited. It's music class day for May. Yeah. And it's hat day. We're singing this song, I Love My Hat, and oh. she has to wear a hat, but I was debating what to dress her in because she has like a sun bonnet and it's kind of chilly oh, yeah. out there. Just a little romper. She'll be so cute. Okay. I'll take pictures. Well, yeah. also, you know, it's soon going to be pool time, which is fun, but it's also scary. And you want to know how to prepare yourself and your family to make sure you're safe in the water. Karis Will Kara Willis talks to an expert. The weather is getting much warmer now, and that means everyone will be taking on the pool in the summer months. I'm here with Crystal at the YMCA this morning, and she's going to tell us a little bit about what you need to know when it comes to swim safety to better protect yourself as you take on the pool. So, Crystal, thanks so much for being here with me this morning. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you notice when it comes to swim season, as I would call it, as far as um, um, drownings and anything that you know from the CDC, rather? So... One thing to notice is that uh, drowning is the second leading cause of death for children under the age of 14. Um, and just depending on your background or your ethnicity, that statistic is likely to rise a minimum of 1.5%. Now, according to the CDC, um, when you take formal swim lessons, that drowning rate tends to decrease about 88%. So it's very important for parents to know and understand that their kids need to learn how to swim and be safe around the water. Those are alarming statistics, but I mean, after us talking off camera, you've mentioned there are some steps we can take to better protect ourselves when it comes to the pool. So what are some things that parents watching out there, or even adults like me that don't know how to swim, what are those safety precautions we can take now? Um, it's very important to know and understand that any depth of water can be dangerous for your children, even for yourself. So a best practice is to make sure that you um, assign a water watcher, someone that is going to be diligent um, and watching the swimmers while they are in the pool. Um, it's best to 
use flotation devices like a life jacket in order to kind of combat those statistics that we talked about earlier. Um, for whatever reason, swimmers really love to play the breath holding game. So it's very important as a water watcher to uh, stop kids from doing that because it can cause other aquatic emergencies. What are some swim techniques you would recommend starting out with if you don't know how to swim? Is it dog paddling? Is it floating? So one of the first techniques I would um, suggest is to get yourself used to being in the water um, so that you are aware of your aquatic environments. Um, and then we can start to uh, introduce getting your face wet, so blowing bubbles. From there, um, we teach a technique called swim, float, swim. And that's basically almost like a little doggy paddle. It doesn't have to be the best technique, but we do want you to learn how to float so you can take a deep breath um, and then turn back over and swim. Well, thank you so much for those techniques. And I'm sure that was very helpful to everyone watching out there, especially if you're about to take on the water. I mean, I learned a lot this morning that I Crystal, we're going to have to talk offline about getting me you. into some swim lessons. I got you. But if you need more information, you can go to our website at CW39.com about how you can get locked in into those classes and make sure you are water ready. Back to you. CW39's lifestyle show, Houston Happens, highlights local businesses every day. Our team's ready to help you reach more customers and grow your revenue. We'd love to speak with you. Please scan the QR code or email hhsales at cw39.com today. They're still the coolest cars on the planet. Every day, Vinny and the award-winning team at Muscle Cars of Texas restore and rebuild classic muscle cars. It doesn't get any better than this. Catch Lone Star Muscle, Saturdays on The CW. Would you buy a life insurance policy if you knew your rate increased every five years? What if $9.95 a month bought you less than $1,000 in protection? Sadly, many policies that seniors buy today fail to mention this in their advertisements. You could buy a policy that might not give you enough coverage when you need it most. Call now to receive free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life Insurance Company. The Senior Care Plan guarantees your rates cannot increase. Your benefit will never decrease. There is no medical exam, and you will have lifetime coverage. You could qualify for up to $30,000 in whole life protection, and rates start as low as $5.90 a month. With the Senior Care Plan, your coverage can start immediately, unlike other policies that don't give you full coverage for two years. Call now for free information on the Senior Care Plan from Senior Life. By calling now, you lock in the lowest rate possible. You have no obligation. Call now. We've all seen car wrecks while driving down the highway, smash cars and emergency vehicles. At Simmons and Fletcher, we see what happens after the wreck, the person fighting to recover, and the family desperately wanting life to return to normal. Now is the time to call Simmons and Fletcher. We'll take over the fight for compensation and end the frustration of dealing with the insurance company. Call 1-800-JUSTICE. Simmons and Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. Watch Houston's most experienced news team at 9. With more resources, more stories connecting you to what's happening right now. The news you want at the time you need. Watch ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW 39 always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Kroger app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Friendship goals. Can we offer tomorrow night Pink Floyd Laser Show at the Planetarium? Oh, you can plan it on it. The Neighborhood, weekdays at 4 and 4.30 on CW39 Houston. Well, it's about 9.24, means we are approaching that halfway mark, and it's time to check in with producer Lou, and of course, we have director Charlie. We like Charlie's new shirt, don't we, Lou? Oh, yeah. You were giving him some styling tips, too. Charlie? always shows up with like the best <laughs> outfits. So, I'm so jealous and yeah. I feel like we're matching. I'm wearing blue too. I know. So. Charlie's angels were always here. <laughs> Charlie, the advice you never wanted, but here we are. This is what happens when you work with all women. I know. Well, I'm excited.
excited, Lou, because we're celebrating. We're celebrating Maggie National Ramen Day, and we're having a crawfish boil in a bowl. Yes, Lou, yes, I'm so please. excited. <laughs> Ramen Tatsuya, they're setting up as we speak. They're here with signature crawfish ramen. Have you ever had crawfish? I was telling you, I don't think I have. It's, I think it's a lot of work to eat it, isn't oh, it? This is why I like the fact that it's already done. Yeah. It's so much work. <laughs> I wear gloves, because if you have a manicure, forget about it. Yeah. And it just is like all this work for a little piece and like. I know, and it's crawfish season right now? Yeah. Right? So it's been very hard to get. So this is really amazing that they have this I know. crawfish ramen. And it's it's simple, it's easy, but you know, yeah. Maggie, crawfish season, that also means warmer weather, yes. of course, and that also means we can get together, friends, right. family. But you know, we go all out. Yes, <laughs> we're not basic, in case yeah. you missed it. <laughs> right, so you wanna like wow as the hostess that you are at your next party. So we got you covered. We're gonna show you some of the products that you have to include in your next celebration spread. Okay. I am here for it. Me too, my friend. And also, uh, lastly, the Netflix series. Um, I started another one, but I might check this one out. Ooh. Ripley, it actually is it, out today. So oh. we're actually gonna talk with the cast on the red carpet that was last night. Um, our sister station at KTLA has the full report on that. Oh, I'm kind of excited about this in black and white. Yeah. This is Looks intriguing. Busy. All right, here for all of this, and we hope you stay here with us. As right, so we start the second half hour of Houston Happens, that's after the break. Rough start to your day? Try new Dial Exfoliating Body Wash with a touch of creamy cocoa butter and orange extract. Reveal soft and healthy feeling skin after just one shower. Dial up your day. A serious injury is overwhelming, and choosing your lawyer is a big decision. Call Terry Bryant, Houston's trusted personal injury lawyer for decades. Our service is legendary. We'll do everything we can to help you or point you in the right direction. Call now for a free consultation. Your search is over. For car crashes, work injuries, slip and falls, catastrophic accidents, and more, you deserve justice. You deserve Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. Just like that, I was hurt in a car accident. A car accident can hit you out of nowhere. But when you call us, boom! Just like that, we can help you get your life back on track. Boom, baby! We're the Law Brothers. Call now or visit lawbrothers.com. They rule daytime drama. You are the fox. His Royal Highness, King Maury. Get the hell off my stage. Bow down to King Steve and catch the battle royale with King Jerry. All hail. The Kings of Daytime Drama on CW 39 Houston. Gallery Furniture introduces the world debut of the Tempur-Pedic Active Breeze Mattress. It's active because it will blow cool air on you all night long, up to 30 degrees cooler. If your partner, however, wants to sleep hot because it's cold to him or her, it heats that side of the mattress. Heat one side, cool the next, cool both sides, heat both sides. Have it your way. Tempur-Pedic Active Breeze Mattress. Buy it today. Gallery Furniture delivers this revolutionary mattress to your home tonight. I mean, I wouldn't worry. Boyd's a pretty high-spirited kid. The counselor wants us to take him to a child psychiatrist. Ooh, see that? They're really worried they'd want him to see an adult. Last Man Standing, tonight at 1 on CW39 Houston. Weather 8 Crown Chief Meteorologist Adam Kruger, the most accurate weather forecaster in Houston for a second year in a row. Go to CW39.com forward slash Adam or scan this QR code to see the incredible videos taking social media by storm. The law tries to use logic, particularly in cases where the people don't. So I'm going to now do what? Looking at a little rough justice. That's right. People's Court, today at 11 on CW39 Houston. Saturday at 11 on CW39 Houston. Well, fun fact, today, it's not just any day, my friends. It is National Ramen Day, and who better to come help us celebrate than our friends with Ramen Tatsuya, and they are debuting Kramen 
Look at this. Signature crawfish ramen. We're actually joined by friend of the show, Todd Patterson. And you kind of say this is like a crawfish boil in a bowl. Oh, definitely. Um, so we've taken uh, our traditional Japanese uh, ingredients and right. we like to always stay within our region. So like Texas, a lot of influence there. But uh, in this case, Texas adjacent, we went Louisiana. Yeah. Um, yeah, just wanted to get into the spirit of the season. So. I love this. Yeah. And crawfish has been kind of hard to come by this season. Uh, it has definitely. So uh, it's been a little tough, but you know, we worked it out. I love this. And crawman. So let's make this. I'm excited. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I'll just get into it. Okay. Uh, so we have a thicker gauge noodle than our normal tonkotsu that we use. Uh, okay. Just we wanted a little bit more of a chew. Okay. Uh, so we do have our tonkotsu broth. So tell everybody your broth is what is so special. Yes. So uh, 60 hour cook time on that. 60 hours, you all. Yeah. So it goes, it goes a long time. Uh, emulsified broth, okay. uh, pork bone, bone broth. Um, so we have some spice, some uh, Cajun and spice. we were just talking seven years you all have been in Houston. We've been open seven years in Houston. I can't believe it. I covered your opening. And I can't believe I've been a supporter. It's been seven, that has flown by. Oh yeah, for sure. What is it like being here in Houston? And do people love ramen? I mean, uh, yeah, they definitely do. Uh, it's been great. I mean, I've lived here most of my life. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we've always had a good turnout here in Houston. Look at um, that. Oh, sausage. Yeah, so we got some andouille sausage. Whoa. Then what is this? This is, Oh, that's the crawfish. That's the crawfish. <laughs> so we have See, a, the best for last, We right? have a crawfish succotash. A um, succotash. So what it's um, it? it's corn, uh, peppers, onions, tomatoes, crawfish tails. Yeah. Um, and then the egg. You and always the have egg. the egg. We have the egg. And then there's a special skill to slurp. You've really got to oh, slurp yeah, the noodle. Also, I'm here for this. Cheers. you got to uh, slurp it down, and you can't have crawfish without a good beer. Exactly. So uh, we've got the Austin Beer Works Floaty. It's a good hazy session IPA. Um, kind of a lower uh, alcohol content, so you can have multiple if you want. <laughs> uh, like, spread it out. Drink responsibly. Spread, spread out the fun. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's got nice citrusy notes, fruity fruity notes, uh, a little bit of hoppiness to it. Goes pairs really well with the cramen. You know what you're doing. Yeah. How long can we get this cramen for? Uh, so we have a couple weeks left of it. Um, April 21st, I believe. Um, and yeah, c please come get it while you can because okay. it's it's definitely. And I love awesome. the shirts. My husband is a fan of your shirts, yeah, as yeah. you know. So definitely. Happy. Don't you worry. This is really awesome. As always, I love celebrating you. Happy National Ramen Day, yeah, my friend. Happy National Ramen Day. I'm gonna slurp to it. Now here's the thing: when it's crawfish, I think of getting together because you all sit together, take your time, cracking it. You get. He did give me a hint on how to get it. I did. Esther. Yeah. <laughs> I'll share later. But the warmer weather means those get-togethers. And if you want to wow as the hostess, right? hostess with yeah. the mostest. I like to be the hostess with the mostest. Definitely. We have you covered. Jeff Jessica actually is standing by with the top products for your next gathering from Consumer Resource BestReviews.com. Warmer weather, fresh fruits and veggies, beautiful flowers. There are so many reasons to celebrate. Joining us now with the products to make your next gathering a breeze is Senior Director of Content Operations from BestReviews.com, Jacob Palmer. Jacob, as always, so good to see you here. Oh, well, it's great to be here. You know, this time of year, people want to get together. They want to share experiences. So we brought some things that are a little bit outside the box in terms of elevating that experience for everybody. I agree. This is the time. As soon as that weather starts getting a little bit warmer, I want to drink. I want to socialize. <laughs> I want to hang with friends. So you're giving us all the things that are going to make it easy and fun. So let's start off with this right here. Yeah. So what we have here are some great options for those warmer months when you're out by the pool, maybe you're at the park, in the backyard, whatever. It's from Flexi. And what's great about both the uh, tub here as well as the wine glasses is that it's made out of a material that's effectively unbreakable. So, you know, it, and also when you look at these wine glasses those just look nice and what we like about it too is it keeps it cool it honestly holds the temperature well for something that's so open so it's a great opportunity for that you know afternoon hang in the sun okay and what do we have here so charcuterie boards obviously you know have been the hosting essential for I think at least the last six seven years and now they're starting to elevate as well in terms of how you can buy the whole package together and what you see here with these elements is is that they're just really nice and it comes with everything it's ten pieces and you get the whole 
old cheese board. You also get little sauce, uh, little sauce dipper things with also the utensils you'll need between the forks and the spoons, and then also different kinds of uh, knives to be able to cut up the cheese. And you'll know that we'll have uh, an option for everybody. If you really like what you see, you'll be able to shop these online uh, as well, and we'll be able to link you right to it at the end of the today. Yeah, I like this. And what this means is different treats and sauces and dips, so I love that. Okay, and what do we have next? <laughs> so everybody knows about the paint and sip, right? It's the another one that's been around for, I think, the last seven or so years, but now people are bringing it home, and they want that experience of being able to create and also sip a little bit, too. You know, do what the name says. And so these are called the Buddha boards, and what's interesting about this is it allows you to have that experience of creating your own uh, little piece of art, but you do it with water instead of paint. So for the person hosting, which is what this segment's all about, they don't have to worry about getting paint on their furniture, their rugs, their, you know, anything else, their tables. This will allow you to do that. Love that. And speaking of keeping things clean, what do we have over here? So this is an apron, and it comes from the Portland Apron Company. You know, Portland's a town that is world famous for how they have great makers that make really awesome things. And with this apron, you know, it's not a new concept. It's something to protect your clothes while you're cooking, but this is just really high quality. You can feel it in the material, and you can take it out in the garden. You can use it in the kitchen. You know, it's one of these items that you can use in all different places where you want to make sure that your items are clean. And then if you're wearing it as the guests arrive, I mean, this is just a good-looking piece of fabric, a good-looking uh, piece of attire that will send the right message. I agree. And a little touch to add to spring, you can change out the napkins as well, right? Something of course. Easy. Yeah, and so, I mean, use this as your uh, reminder that it's probably time for new napkins. You know, you wash them and you get the use out of them, but each spring, as a part of the spring cleaning uh, opportunity, you can use that and refresh the look in your kitchen. And we love these as well because they come from that great kind of linen uh, company that makes really high quality stuff that you'll be proud to have in your kitchen. Well, Jacob, I am ready to host my next gathering. I kind of get stressed as being the hostess, but I think you got me all set up and I'm ready now. It looks like it's going to be easy and fun. So thank you so much for joining us and sharing all of these. And thanks for having me. Of course. If you want to learn more on these products or any others, you can head to bestreviews.com or you can scan the QR code right there on your screen. Well, meanwhile, the classic show Good Times is getting an animated reboot. And J-Lo is rebranding her tour. Sam Rubin has these updated in today's entertainment report. We begin here by remembering the lure of so many Norman Lear comedies. Topical, funny, enduring. Among them, the classic show Good Times. I think I did the proper thing. You're right. <laughs> and it wasn't worth it. You're damn right. <laughs> And actor John Amos from Good Times was featured when some classic Norman Lear comedies were brought back as live events in the last few years, thanks to Jimmy Kimmel. Uninvite him. Now, James, James. Hold no, on, no, no, baby, take it easy. I'm going to be polite. I'm going to be real gentleman-like. You ain't welcome here. <laughs> Well, now Good Times is in the news again, this time Netflix with a raw and raunchy animated remake. Is there anything you can suggest to help him get to the drive-thru? Can you do OnlyFans? Take off your shoes. Let me see what kind of feet you're working with. Some stars from the original series are not so sure about this cartoon send-up with a very specific 2024 sensibility. We're hearing now from Thelma, the actress of Bernadette Staines, on the remake. A lot of times you use a certain name to open the door for a new show. That could be what it is, but I'm sure a lot of people will be a little confused at first because they have to think that it's us. They think, oh my God. They've got to be Thelma and uh, JJ, Jimmy Walker, of course, uh, Michael, Ralph Carter. And then you come in there and you don't see anything like that. Other cast members say they're going to reserve judgment until they see the complete animated series. We've seen the trailer, which does look very raw and raunchy and decidedly not like the good times that many of us remember. Now, to somebody who's very, very famous, when was the last time, though, Jennifer Lopez had a big hit song, a song that you would pay to see her perform live. On the Floor is from 2011, J-Lo's new album, supported by two different promotional movies. Uh, well, the tour, tepid sales. So J-Lo is rebranding the tour. Let me show you the new poster, some already showing the name change in the listing. Here's the poster on the forum website here locally. J-Lo also posted this, sort of a renewed invitation to her live show, 
on our Instagram. Come move, come sing, and come feel the energy live with me because this tour is a celebration for all of us. Will the prospect of JLo singing her hits draw in audiences? She and Live Nation certainly hope so. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Sam Rubin. Hi, we're the Marine Force of Reserve Band, and you're watching Houston Happens on CW39. Who are you? I don't even know you. Uh, you don't ask questions. I ask questions. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. Get a little colorful with Sydney Crawford Colors and Rooms to Go. Get a little daring. Get a little playful. Get a little wow. Bring your room to life with an incredible selection of colors that are as beautiful as they are affordable. Are you ready to see what a little color can do for you? Come shop in newest pieces and packages from Cindy Crawford Colors and Rooms to Go. During high school, I hung with the wrong crowd and I never graduated. I helped Santiago in many different ways, like all fathers do, because he always wanted to go to college. I felt a little embarrassed to come back to school, but eventually, once I came here, I knew that it's for a bigger goal. He was very dedicated, hardworking. He connected with his teachers. He connected with other students. That was one of the key reasons why he was able to keep forging ahead. It was amazing to see him graduate. This was one thing that meant so much to him, and of course, it meant so much to us, too. With the help of my father and having my son, that was all the motivation that I needed. That support is everything. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Does anyone feel like life can be really messy? I know I do. There is something shady going on, and I'm not afraid to get into your mess. You are not winning in life. Let that sink in. So let's get into it. Karamo, today at 12 on CW39 Houston. Get it, get it. It's just a spider, calm down. Did you kill it? Yep. Are you sure? You tell me. Young Sheldon, tonight at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. Just be cool. Wow, right on. The laughs are on the house. Everybody's lucky to have it. Weeknight starting at 10 on CW39. Watch Houston's most experienced news team at 9. With more resources, more stories connecting you to what's happening right now. The news you want at the time you need. Watch ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW39. zoom in on my feet I put on that Jergens stuff you know <laughs> they're not sponsoring this don't worry but I, d I never know quite what to do with my feet you put it on I put a little bit because you don't want to have like you know like a line like a farmer tan thing but no I think uh oh there goes the camera it's going for your feet Charlie <laughs> Charlie the because last time I could be on OnlyFans <laughs> <laughs> because she's <laughs> She says, don't look so don't look too close to my feet. I have really cute you, feet, you, you guys. Don't good. make me show my toes. You, you have to good extra. with your self-tanner on your feet. And then I got it in the crevice. I usually get a spray tan, but I told you first world problems. I can't get a spray tan, because then I give May a bath and it's like, bye. <laughs> and I told you that time they messed up the spray tan and I started crying to Hefe again. First world problems because I was like, I know. do you know all it took to get this spray tan and it's all blotchy and I have to wash it off? I get it. No, I, I have a real so many first world problems. <laughs> like, you uh, won't wear jeans, you said, because you feel I, like a no, potato I don't. on toothpicks. So you guys know I am not a fan of my legs. I think that like... She wants bigger calves, you all. Women me, don't want big calves. Me, like this way, I love me. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm all about body empowerment and like me up here, like, woohoo. Keep I your eyes me. up here. <laughs> like, like, I have...
had babies. I love my body. Uh, but well, that's special because I don't like the mom pooch. But I, you know, I, yeah, I'm uh, glad Jennifer you're so Gardner. positive. Jennifer Gardner loves her mom pooch. Well, that's great for her. <laughs> <laughs> that's lovely. I, I'm glad you're embracing it. Um, we also are loving our allergies while we're on the thing about complaining. Yeah, let's just keep complaining. <laughs> yeah. Look at this map that I have, or this graphic I have for oh. you. Uh, this is the allergy Ew. report. What? What is that? Oh, that's oak pollen. That you know how like when you go, when you go out for walks or anything like that. That looks how I feel pollen? with my allergies. <laughs> Charlie's Wait, what did Charlie calls them doodles. Say? Doodles, I love that. They're called doodles. <laughs> it gets on my car. Yeah, my car is nasty, but Charlie, tell your wife these doodles are killing us. <laughs> like, let's come up with a more fierce name for these things. I like, no doodles. one's afraid of doodles. I'm afraid of a doodle. But look, because of the doodles, <laughs> look at this. Our tree pollen is high this morning. Oak is the number one culprit for that. Uh, grass also high, weed at medium, mold at low. So at least, Maggie, oh. three out of the four today. Here's the you, thing, man. why do I even ask? For this report, because when you see it, you instantly, it's like when you go to the doctor, you instantly feel worse. Like you start, yeah, itching. Yeah, right now I'm like <laughs> itching. Where's my Benadryl? I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the next couple of days, though, because the big eclipse is happening on Monday. So, yes, if you count. <laughs> that is in the next five days. Uh, we will be seeing some rain, possibly on Saturday, then again on Monday and Tuesday. We just have a wet weather pattern starting up this weekend. So here's a look at our five day rain potential. Thursday and Friday, lovely. Get out, enjoy it. Saturday, we'll start to see just a slight chance of rain start to creep in. By Sunday, here comes some more rain. And then Monday, eclipse day, we just have a lot of uh, cloud cover that's gonna be blocking that. Plus on top of that, it's gonna be rainy, which, you know what, Maggie, I'm kind of okay with because I was a little bit nervous that the schools aren't canceling, uh, aren't canceling classes on Eclipse Day, and I, I'm really worried because I can just see my kids being like, I dare you to look up. <gasps> like, no, right? they're going to be that Billy. We said, no, Billy, don't look up, Billy. Billy, look at the sidewalk, Billy. Tim's You're going to go blind, Billy. Tim and Billy are looking. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so here's a look at Futurecast. Lots of uh, sun. We've got the cloud cover. We've got the rain coming just in time for Eclipse Day. And I just want to show you really quick the path of totality. Looks like your best chance right now is Dallas, where it's going to be partly cloudy. And then uh, looks like mostly cloudy in Waco. Uh, yesterday, Maggie, that low that low pressure system yeah. that was coming this way, it actually edged a little bit further north. So it, it kind of <laughs> brought the clouds further north to Waco, unfortunately. I'm but sorry. Dallas, is anybody, still, I mean, it's the final countdown. I mean, half is like, how much longer till the eclipse? Oh, we're talking about it all day long, baby. <laughs> all right, honey. Well, you know what else we're talking about? Yes. Things you can watch besides an eclipse. <gasps> Woohoo! Yeah. And Sunday's a great day. I love a rainy Sunday, actually. Yeah. Because you can snuggle in during nap time, hopefully. Fingers yeah, crossed. it has to be during nap time because, Maggie, once once little May gets to about two, say goodbye well, to your adult shows. Like, no more. We're approaching that. It's all bluey from here on mm -hmm. out. Yeah, Miss Rachel, love you <laughs> long time. Uh, the Netflix series Ripley, it actually premieres today. So we're talking with the cast on the red carpet. I ask you to describe Thomas Ripley. We're filming in so many different regions of Italy, and so every every region has its own vibe, and I feel like that's so beautifully captured with the black and white. He came to Italy, moved into Dickie's house. He just wouldn't go away. Italy is, is, is so different now. Tom is one of those people who takes advantage of people. But in this series, I rediscover my old Italy. I don't trust him. He's a liar. It's his profession. The corpse was found on the Via Piantica. Hey, yeah, there's a lot of physicality in it. Uh, there's a lot of action sequences, um, a lot of transformations. Um, so yeah, that was the big, the, the, the great appeal of it. He's taking advantage of Dickie. I have no idea what you're talking about. You're, you're getting to spend a lot more time with the characters because it's a series, so you get to kind of have more things than you can fit into a two-hour film. False IDs, bank letters. What's going on, Tom? You crazy? This series is so 
so close to Nova by Patricia Highsmith. This is what I do for a living. You're interfering. I'd like you to leave. I bet you would. This character and this story clearly resonates with a lot of people, and so um, I'm excited for people to, to see this one. Someone is dead in Rome, and Senior Ripley is missing. And so um, I'm looking forward to going back to Ireland and um, chilling out a little. This is the situation. Very interesting. Not sure about that one. But here's something I'm also not sure about. You probably heard this and thought twice before buying milk at the store. A Texas dairy worker continues to recover from bird flu, you all, after coming into contact with infected cattle earlier this week. I know hopefully you do not have this milk in your cereal. But as Maddie Beer Temple reports, public health leaders say there's little risk to the public right now. The Centers for Disease Control says it's only the second time a human has contracted avian flu in the U.S. This was an individual who had close contact with sick cattle. Texas State Health Services spokesman Chris Van Dusen says the exact transmission path isn't clear, but it's possible that infected birds contaminated cattle feed, sickening cows, and then the person. He says the worker's case is mild, but the state is closely watching other infected cattle. We have seen uh, positive reports at multiple multiple dairies in the panhandle. Cattle in Michigan, Kansas, and New Mexico have also tested positive, and the bird flu is affecting birds as well. The country's largest producer of eggs, Calmaine Foods, reported an outbreak at a Texas facility. The company slaughtered nearly 2 million chickens. While rare in the U.S., around the world, from 2003 to February of this year, 887 people contracted bird flu, and 462 died from it, according to the World Health Organization. The CDC says the risk to humans is low because there's no indication right now it can spread from person to person. Really importantly, cows aren't humans. Dr. Dimitri Daskalakis is director of the CDC's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases. What we know to date is we have one case in a human and that person is doing great. Daskalakis says it is still safe to consume pasteurized dairy products. We pasteurize milk for a reason and that's because it kills bacteria and viruses. He says people who work with live stock should limit their exposure to sick animals and all of us should avoid handling dead birds. In Washington, I'm Maddie Beer Temple. Let's get stupid. They have a few tricks up their sleeves. To make you laugh. Weekdays starting at 4 on CW39 Houston. Hi, I'm Micah, and I still want to buy your house. When you call 713-565-5000, you're working with me, a Houstonian who's been buying houses for 25 years. I make it easy with an as-is cash offer on your home within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. When you sell to Micah, there are no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just call 713-565-5000 for a free, no-obligation offer, 24 hours a day. That's 713-565-5000. Get Houston news that's happening right now. Local weather, traffic, and more right in your inbox. Sign up for the No Wade Weather and Traffic daily newsletter. Go to CW39.com forward slash newsletter or just scan the QR code on your screen. Listen up.
finished picking these up. That was the three-piece. The five-piece modular one-sectional recycles around 200 plastic bottles. Let's just tell everyone the fabric's made with a whole lot of plastic bottles. And the comfort and versatility? Well, that we have to show. Introducing Modular One to our collection at Rooms To Go. Great colors, endless configurations on any budget. That's why we wanted it as a part of Drew and Jonathan for Rooms To Go. Good looking and smart, it's a win-win. A twin-win. Ooh, twin-win, I like that. Wines and whiskeys are becoming legitimate investments. Jane King is at the NASDAQ with more in today's Morning Business Report. Good morning. The Biden administration has abruptly canceled a plan announced last month to purchase up to 3 million barrels of oil as part of the efforts to refill the U.S. strategic petroleum reserves. It's blaming the high price of oil for the reversal. Republicans say not having a sufficient reserve of oil makes the nation vulnerable to energy shocks. Well, cybersecurity experts are urging AT&T customers to ramp up their security measures, such as changing passwords. This follows a data breach that impacted 73 million and current and former customers. So customers can also use the reputable services like Have I Been Pawned to see if their email or phone number is part of the data breach. Stocks closed mixed yesterday. Disney shares fell 3% after it defeated activist shareholder Nelson Peltz in a fight for influence in the company's boardroom. Churchill Downs is being sued for arbitrarily extending the ban on famed trainer Bob Baffert, affecting the eligibility of top horses to participate in the run for the roses. Zidane Racing Stables, owner of Muth, a horse trained by Baffert, announced that it's filed a civil lawsuit in Kentucky Circuit Court against Churchill Downs, its company that operates the Kentucky Derby. The, the historic track initially suspended Baffert for two years in June of 2021, following a failed post-race drug test by the horse that was later disqualified. And rare whiskey investments yielded over 280% returns in the past decade, outperforming the S&P 500. Stocklytics says the emergence of whiskey Whiskey investment funds and dedicated trading platforms has democratized access to the market, allowing investors of all backgrounds to participate. In addition, the prediction is that the whiskey market is poised for growth in the coming years. From the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King with your morning business report. Well, cheers to that and cheers. That's nearly a wrap on today's show. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time for more Houston Happens. It's Friday, so I'm taking the show on the road. Where will I be? I guess you'll just have to tune in and find out. Bye for now, everybody.